Okay, so we are on day nine. Day nine? Day 10. No, this is day 10. Day 10 of our detox. The kids have been doing really, really good. So this is their last day. So I wanted to get this on video before they were done and kind of what we've been doing. So we, we got, I went and got a couple little shot glasses from the dollar store. And then um, I just keep a paper with what they need and what I need. So, and I set alarms for myself. They, once they come home from school, then we start doing their shots <laughs> every hour. Uh, for me, I start in the morning and I space it two hours apart throughout the day. For them, they start after school and space it apart an hour. So the next one is lungs. Do you want to do it, Anora? Yeah. Can I do mine? Yeah, you can issue you yours. So there's yours. So they say one to two droppers. So kind of not super specific. And then we just fill that up with some water. Then you can go ahead and drink it, Anora. And then you're supposed to take that and then drink a bunch of water with it. We've been doing our very best to do raw vegan, but the very least vegan. Sometimes we've had like vegetable soup and some cooked vegetables and things like that. But the kids for lunches have been taking veggies and hummus, lots of fruit, nuts, dried fruit, things like that, and it's worked really well for them. And Nora, how have you felt with doing this? Good? How about you, Adam? Did you guys notice any changes in your body? No, you guys are pretty healthy already, hey? One of the things that they talk about when you do the detox, you can go through what's called a healing crisis, where if you are quite toxic, maybe you've never done a detox before, that you can get kind of sick. And that can range anywhere from like um, diarrhea, rashes, um, muscle pain, joint pain, headaches. You had a little bit of like headaches and what else? Yeah. And myself, today also uh, my uh, tummy hurted and then I was, when I go to the bathroom it like has like goes really bad and stuff. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Well that must be your body's pushing out some stuff. That's a good thing. And then you had, what did you have that on? Sore throat and a headache. Headache, yeah. So I think it's good, like our bodies can naturally detox. We've got livers for that and I, organs to do all that kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of times our toxic load is so much more than what our body is able to process. So I feel that it's a good idea to be doing some, some sort of stuff to support yourself as you're going. But so far it's been really good. It hasn't been as difficult as I thought. The kids have been super on board and like really responsible. They're at school and their teacher was like, oh yeah, like we had some stuff at school today and they didn't uh, they didn't take anything, any, I think it was cupcakes or popsicles or something like that. So I'm super proud of them. So don't underestimate your kids. If they take ownership of it, then um, they can do it too. So, and I've been feeling really good, actually. It's been really good for me. I got 10 more days to go. And um, so I would encourage you to check out their stuff on Divine Medi Medicinals. It's the website. I've got it in the description and do this for yourself. It's, uh, I'm, I'm noticing I'm having more energy, I'm sleeping better, and um, overall, we're all feeling really good. So this is just another important aspect of raising your vibration, dealing with your body, making sure that you are eating healthy and nutritious foods, that you're drinking lots of water, we don't want to um, clog things up and make things more difficult for ourselves. So doing something like a detox at least once a year, I, I think on the website they recommend doing this quarterly, so that's quite a bit for some people, but um, just making healthy choices so that your body feels really good and ultimately you feel really good.